All right, what's up YouTube? Talking about how we can break in a new team roping rope. This is actually an old team roping rope, but I'm gonna explain the process with an old one. Uh, I didn't want to go buy a new rope for the video. New ropes are high dollar. Plus I use old ropes for, I use a rope as much as I can. Uh, they, uh, I got a friend who always hands me his old ropes because knows I like them like that, but I don't really like them like that. I just kind of use them because they're uh, high dollars. So anyways, process of how you break in a new rope is the first thing you do is you get it. Uh, first, you check it. You check to make sure that the uh, it's got the right uh, kick to it. It's got the right kick to the rope. And then first thing you do is I stretch it so I'll put this on like uh, you could put it on like uh, a ball on the, end the, the ball on the end of the truck or like a post and so I, I some people when they uh, stretch their ropes they just are on their like they take it straight out of the twisties and I see them like rope some pole and then they stretch it with all these extra coils in their hands and then they just stretch it they think it's good to go and then they go and they rope right away with it so but what I do is I uh, attach this to the end of a pole or something and I go all the way to the end I, I stretch it all the way out to the end of the rope so I just kind of wrap it around like this and I just kind of lean back and you can actually feel how much you're stretching it all right so you stretch it a few times two or three times and then you put it back up into the back up into the twisties and let it sit for about 24 hours and don't let it sit in the sun if you stretch it like that it makes all the molecules in the rope like like uh, set and then it makes the rope last longer so first thing you do is you stretch it put it back in the twisties keep it inside the inside the house and second thing I would do is that I don't want to use a rope brand new ropes are like really really slick like they're easy to feed and they come around horns really fast so and then dallying sometimes if you use a new rope on the dally then uh it can like go like zzz, like it can run on the dally because it's too slick sometimes if you use a really new rope and try to rope horns it kind of it's really slick around the horns so to give it just a little bit more traction, first thing I'll do once I after I take it out of the twisties after it's set for about 24 hours, I'll uh, when I'm riding when I'm warming a horse up around the arena, and I will only do this when it's uh, when it's like you don't want to be dragging your rope in the arena when the dirt or sand is wet because it's gonna cake full your all the tread and all the uh, on, on your rope. So, or all the crowns on your rope. So if it's like a dry sand, I'll let my whole rope go like this and I'll ride around my horse and I'll let that drag around the arena once or twice and then I'll coil it back up and the side that was in my hand, I'll let that side drag once or twice around the arena. Um, so there's, and then that gives it, it just kind of, it just kind of gives this, uh, not such a slick so it'd be ready to go when you rope for the horns or you feed and you dally it's not gonna it'd be a little bit more worn in a little bit so there you go guys that's uh those are a couple things i do to break in a new team roping rope thanks for watching